Hi, so we're going to go through how to make cob. So there's a couple of different parts to assembling the raw ingredients. The first part that we'll show here is getting the subsoil that you'll then mix with the clay and incorporate some aggregate and some straw into it so that the combination of those ingredients will make a nice um, cob to build from. Um, this, this part here, which is getting the subsoil, is going to form with the clay the basis of what you want to make the club, cob from. So a cob is ideally about 10% or 10 to 20% clay, depending on the, the type of clay, to 90 to 80% subsoil. And what the clay will do is, is bind that subsoil together so that when it dries, it's going to form a nice hard substance that you can um, sculpt your cob structure from. So um, this area here is not very high in clay, so this is just going to be the subsoil part of it. And if you have a look where we're digging here, um, this is all the topsoil part. And you want to avoid getting topsoil into it because all this organic matter will decompose and um, rot away the cob um, that you build from. So it's not, not good to use topsoil when you're building with cob. It's good to dig through the topsoil and get to the subsoil. So we'll just dig through the topsoil part here to get down to the subsoil. Okay, so that last site wasn't so good because it was too close to trees and there was, um, the topsoil was too deep and there was too much tree roots in it. So we've got a different site here which is next to these water tanks here. So uh, when the water tank was excavated, the subsoil was all piled up around here. So it's quite easy to access the clay and get to the um, subsoil. So on, on a nice site, you might have a subsoil that's perfect already. So there's a nice combination of, of clay and other you know, silts and sands um, to make cob from. But um, we'll have a look at what the subsoil looks like here. What will probably be the case is that there's too much uh, clay in it, and it can be hard to tell the composition of clays and silts and sands um, that would make a good cob. And what you do is you make a test ball from it. So you get um, your, your subsoil and you make a ball out of it and you let that dry and if there's too much uh, clay in it it will crack and you don't want that in your cob you want um, when it dries to form a nice um, hard ball um, but you want enough clay in it that when it does form a ball it will hold together nicely it won't crumble up and the test you do is uh, you drop it from uh, kind of a shoulder height onto a concrete area and if it doesn't shatter you know the composition of uh, clay, silts and sand has been strong enough to, to hold it together well um, and that would be, make a good comp composition for making cob out of. Um, if you make it and it dries too much and starts to crack, that would indicate that there's too much um, clay in it and you need to incorporate more um, sands and silts so you want to find another site where there's um, not so much clay in the subsoil and mix that in with your subsoil that you've got to get a better balance. And it's a bit of a playing around of um, different subsoils and, and different uh, clays to, to get the nice composition that will form your cob. And what's uh, generally a good idea to do is um, work with just a pure clay surrey. So find a nice clay, and this one's um, quite high in clay, so I could use this as being my clay sl slurry. And mix that up in water so that you've got um, just the pure clay um, element and then you can mix that clay in with your subsoil to different degrees. So you might find that um, a composition of three parts of your subsoil to one part clay gives you a nice um, ball that holds together really well. Or you might want to add more of your clay or less of your clay. And it's just a bit of a playing around initially of finding the, the right composition between um, your subsoil and the clay you add to get a nice um, firm ball that, that will hold together well. And then once you've got that, you can use that as your building block to make cob from. So you generally add um, maybe some fine aggregate to that, and that will just help um, create a, a bit of a stronger cob substra substrate from it. And you'd also want to incorporate some straw into it so that the straw helps bind the um, cob together and give it some tensile strength. 